Welcome to The Late Show, everybody. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. I just want to say... Hello, citizens of Earth. And if this is a rerun from two years from now, hello to all our fighting boys in the asteroid belt. <laughs> Go give the Astro Kaiser hell. Because tonight there's big news about Space Force! <laughs> Was I looking at the right? Was I looking at the right thing? Longtime viewers of the Trump administration will remember that Space Force is the president's boldest idea that he got from a Buzz Lightyear Happy Meal toy. <laughs> and now, and now, citizens, to refresh your memory banks, we take you to Stardate March 13th, where Supreme Leader Trump addressed a confused planet. My new national strategy for space recognizes that space is a war-fighting domain just like the land, air, and sea. We may even have a space force. We'll develop another one. Space force. We have the Air Force. We'll have the Space Force. We'll go with the Space Force. Think of that. Space Force. Yes. <laughs> Think of that. But not too hard, because it's stupid. <laughs> we already have NASA. We don't need Space Force. Please wait until NASA finds life before you try to kill it. <laughs> and today, Space Force got a boost from Vice President Mike Pence. No surprise, Pence is a huge fan of space. It is the farthest you can get from being alone with a human woman. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, yes. In a speech to the Defense Department, Pence outlined the mission that will take us to the stars. President Trump proclaimed that the United States stands, in his words, at the birth of a new millennium, ready to unlock the mysteries of space. What a stirring call to something we're already doing. <laughs> yeah, since the 1960s. In yeah. fact, Pence's speech reminds me of JFK's immortal words. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but to distract from Robert Mueller. Witch hunt. Yes. Just, it gets you, man. It's powerful. It is. It's powerful. It's powerful. It's so powerful. Then Pence laid out exactly the administration's plan, what they need to put it into action. The second step this report calls for is the creation of an elite group of joint warfighters specializing in the domain of space, who will form the backbone of the nation's newest armed service, Space Operations Force. No, no, no. <laughs> it's called Space Force, not Space Operations Force. If you name a thing that dumb, you have to stick with it. <laughs> and go back a second. You said we need an elite group of joint warfighters? Jeff Sessions is already fighting the joint war. <laughs> and whoever came up with the idea of Space Force lost the battle. <laughs> then, then, Pence led our nation in a traditional space prayer. If you rise on the wings of the dawn, if you settle on the far side of the sea, even if you go up to the heavens, even there his hand will guide you. His right hand will hold you fast and he will hold fast this great nation in the great beyond. Hold on a second. <laughs> Wait, you said his right hand will hold you fast, and he will hold fast this great nation and the great beyond? How many hands does God have? <laughs> Wait, is Mike Pence worsening Vishnu? Ah. <laughs> Whoever Astro God is, it was a truly eloquent and spiritual benediction. Or as Trump put it, Space Force all the way. <laughs> space Force, you know I love it. I, of course, I would join, but I have space spurs. I can't, <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. And today, Sky Marshal Trump. <laughs> yes. 
Sky Marshal Trump sent his supporters an email letting them vote for the Space Force's new insignia. They will vote for their favorite, and the final choice will be made by the Electoral Space College. <laughs> but there were six. Six. Six does not seem like enough options to us. So the Late Show has made a few of our own. Space Force, Mars has cleaner water than Flint. In space, no one can hear you collude. And one small step for man, really small hands for a man. Pew, 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 pew.